Hello Coffeeholics, welcome back. Toasted white chocolate. Does anybody know where to get toasted white chocolate? But I'm sure you do know or you've heard of toasted white chocolate mocha, a holiday drink at Starbucks. Now, if you cannot find a toasted white chocolate mocha, because I cannot find one, it is time to make your own homemade toasted white chocolate syrup. And this is what I'm going to show you today. In the next video clip, I am going to show you how to make toasted white chocolate mocha. So we're going to start by making the syrup and then so as not to bore you with a long video clip we are going to do this in two steps the second one is making the drink which is toasted white chocolate mocha well i have made toasted chocolate and it is absolutely delicious what's so special about it it's got that smoky smell and taste and so it should be the same as toasted white chocolate Let's take a look at the ingredients. I'm going to use white chocolate in chips or in any shape or form. We're going to use milk, any milk of choice, full cream milk is perfect. We're just going to use one cup to make the syrup not too thick. And then we are going to add vanilla flavor or vanilla extract to make the smell better. And just to enhance the flavor, we're going to use some salt. So these are the ingredients that we are going to use to make our toasted white chocolate. And how does it get toasted? We are going to use the oven. We are going to toast it for about 40 minutes. To make toasted white chocolate, preheat the oven to 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. Spread pieces of the white chocolate chips on a baking tray. Bake for 30 minutes. Watch that they do not get burnt. Stir halfway through the time. When the time is up, remove from the oven and let it cool down. As soon as they start to change color to beige, they are done. As you can see, my white chocolate is definitely toasted, perhaps a wee bit too toasted on one side. Definitely my version of caramelized white chocolate. Let's make our toasted white chocolate sauce. In a saucepan, warm the milk on medium heat. Wait until you see the sides starting to boil or smoke coming off the surface. Be careful not to bring to a boil. Once it starts to simmer, reduce the heat to low. Add the toasted white chocolate. Whisk until the chocolate is fully melted and foamy. Okay, my chocolate's nearly melted. I'm going to add my vanilla. And just to enhance the flavor further, I'm going to add my salt. So once the chocolate is fully melted, let it simmer for a little bit. So now this is our cooked white chocolate sauce. I'm going to just let it cool down for a bit before we pour it into our jar. So there you go. From white chocolate, toasted it to toasted white chocolate sauce. Now the texture of this is syrupy, not as thick as a sauce, but then when you refrigerate it, this is going to be thicker. The color is beige and not white. And the smell is smoky, and it smells so much like white chocolate, of course. And now let me just give it a try so I can explain the taste of this toasted white chocolate. Mm. 
it is quite sweet. But that delicious taste of white chocolate and um, smoky flavor. The shelf life of this sauce is up to two weeks refrigerated. Store them in jars or in sealed bottles. Now that we have made our toasted white chocolate sauce, the next video tutorial I am going to show you how to make toasted white chocolate mocha will make hot ice and also mochaccino, a frapped version of toasted white chocolate. Stay tuned for that. If you have any questions about this recipe, do let me know, comment below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, like, comment and share the love. In the meantime, take care, happy holidays, thank you for watching, ciao for now.